Tesla has been a great producer and has met in many ways, but it's just not growing at the same speed. And Steve, you had a list. You said one, the robo taxi, two, the $25,000 car, and three, the Optimus robot. Uh, energy, even though it did well for the company, is not going to save the company, right, Steve? Look, that's essentially right. And so give Tesla some credit. They, they beat top end uh, revenue growth by a billion dollars. That's not bad. But your point's absolutely correct. Looking at flat growth this year, fourth straight quarter of reduced earnings. But you kind of passed over energy sales, and they've just gone from 4.7 gigawatt hours of power delivered to 9.4 gigawatts. That is a 100% quarter over quarter increase at the current rate energy sales could become 20% of Tesla's revenues. That is a big deal. They're rapidly on their way to becoming the world's largest utility with full self-driving and the humanoid robots in the pipeline and possibly a perhaps not $25,000 car, but a $30,000 car likely built on the same chassis as the Model 3 and the Model Y. So they're retuning things, but you got to give them credit for pulling the energy numbers up. That's dramatic. Yeah. And, you know, I was looking back at my notes, but, but the thing I was thinking about, here it was, um, you know, the profitability on the cars has dropped, right, to five-year lows. But the sales... Yeah have still been pretty good. Ross, it's not enough for you either. You've been out on Tesla for some time. Yeah, I mean, I think the energy sales point is a really good point other than it's a lumpy business. So just extrapolating out that they're gonna continue at this pace might be a little premature, although I love you know energy storage as an overall business. But when you look at the car business, I think that they've plateaued, and I think investors are going to just need to accept this, that Tesla cannot sell more cars without lowering prices and lowering margins. And that, you know, negative reinforcing cycle has has really affected Tesla and its earnings potential over the long term. Essentially, Elon has become what I'm now calling an anti-marketer of Tesla, where every week he does more things to drive its core consumers away, and his core consumers are now done with the brand. And it's really sad to me. It's 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 really a sad thing that this has happened. Yeah. Um, but that's just what's happened. And so I don't see them selling more than two million cars with the current thing, whether they have robo taxis or not. You can buy a Tesla for twenty three thousand dollars on cars dot com right now. If you make a small model three, I don't think people want robo taxis that bad. I think there's plenty of taxis all over the place. There's Ubers, there's scooters, there's there's a million ways to get from A to B and to just think you're going to sell millions of cars when consumers don't like your brand is a little bit premature. So so I think a lot of these ideas are wonderful and I'm still an investor in Tesla, but I think it's potentially the best days are behind Tesla and that's what I'm worried about.